against the grain. Welcome back, folks. This is definitely our against the grain segment. We're going to talk a little bit about AI and chat GBT specifically. And what I can tell you from personal experience and from looking at the product and looking at what it is able to do right now, it's not that scary. It's actually not that smart. It's actually a liar in a lot of cases. Just to give you some insight here, and I'll put this up on the screen. I was doing some research for a potential video regarding civil rights acts and civil rights bills that have been passed in the United States. And, you know, kind of gave it a garbage in prompt to start the conversation. And here it is printing out these bills. But I also wanted to know which political party supported and didn't support it. So initially when I asked it that, it printed out these results, which at the top you can say it represents as an approximate number. But if you really drill into it with a little bit more defined prompts, as I did, you see it almost tries to hide the real answers. And then as you get into it, it gives you the real numbers. And when you look at the real numbers compared to what it says it determined was an approximate number, you can see how varied they are in reality to the truth. There's something they're hiding there. And either they're hiding it either because of the way they're programmed or it's just that dumb. I think it's more likely that it's just programmed to be this kind of biased. And the truth is, if you use it enough, you'll start to catch on to what is AI and what is actually human generated pretty easily. You can see in some of the videos I put out, with some of the AI versus real, you can start to get an eye for what's real and what's fake pretty easily when you start looking at some of those. So just hang in there. We're all going to get used to this and it's not going to terrorize us and take over the world before any of us are dead anyway. against the grave.